emerging. Going to America and actually a large portion of our crew that we expect to have hotels coming with me. We're all heading to Dallas, so. But I'm totally going too, right? Uh, a few days or so. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun, boy. Caleb's gone, in the air somewhere, and it's almost my turn. It's 11.30, I'm about to get in a taxi, head to the airport here in Jordan. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lengthy one. Jordan to Dubai, Dubai to Houston, and no, wait, we went too far. Houston to DFW, just a mere full day. So I know I got a ticket. I don't know much more than that. Don't know the gate. Don't know anything. And it's like midnight thirty. We'll figure it out. It's just another country. Joshua and I'm Caleb. I have no idea what time it is, neither does my body. I'm tired, but I'm awake. It's light and it's dark. I think that's called jet lag. That's what it was. Right, let, right. let jag. I forget about that. <laughs> Guys, we're finally reunited. I love this man. We had to separate all of us, our crew. Yeah. We all had to take separate flights to get out of Jordan. First of all, thank you. Our emails, our Instagrams. My Instagram doesn't have one. All of our platforms where somebody could have wondered, are we back yet? They've been asking that. We love that y'all guys have been praying for us. We know that without prayer, none of the miracles would have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the whole reason we keep telling you to pray for Israel, because we know prayer changes things. Yeah. Uh, but we did make it back over a system of, mine was 37 hours. Uh, I don't, yours was yeah. maybe a little shorter, but it, it was, was still two days of journey. Multiple flights, yeah. craziness. Mm -hmm. We are here in America. Caleb really felt God said one day when we woke up, get out. <laughs> and that was the day that everything kind of fell together for us. Um, Congressman Corey Mills, as we've said, he was used by God to get us out. He has now facilitated 96 extractions, That's right. removing American citizens, and he's sending a plane in now that he's chartered that will that will uh, see 219 Americans. Yeah. So you got to check him out. If God's calling you to bless somebody, bless that man, because he has been doing this out of his own pocket, his own time, and against all the odds to make sure that the Americans there are safely out. Sure. We know, because we've heard from people on the ground that have contacted us that right after we left our hotel, yeah. our hotel was struck by terrorists. Yeah, Shad, a uh, pastor who stayed behind, and he's working in ministry. Uh, there, there were several Americans that chose to stay behind uh, because God told us to. And when God tells you to, you will be safe. God told us to go, and we left. But yeah, we heard about you know nearby uh, uh, police department that was struck. Uh, hotel that was struck, we don't know in what way, and uh, immediately after we left, the border to Jordan was closed, our way was out, God knew his timing, and everything happened in his exact and divine timing, because we walked in obedience to him, and we're so grateful uh, for all those who, who prayed, and uh, we even flew with, with our extracted team, you know, all the way to Dubai, several of those believers came with us back to the States, uh, we finally parted ways in, in Texas and, and in Dubai, but it was such a blessing uh, being with y'all because these were these were pioneers in faith. There's not a lot of believers who have the, the great faith and understanding of God's love for Israel who we were uh, united with, who 
were on the bus with us, who traveled with us. It was such a blessing. We thank you for our God. You know who you are, and we love you. And, and what we mean by that is when we got a chance to pray in that bus for mm -hmm. the 45 people, um, I got to see a picture on one of the social medias of, mm -hmm. from the back of the bus before. I hadn't seen it because we were yeah. we were filming us. Um, I, everyone in that bus was holding up a phone, <laughs> and they were filming and taking pictures and praying. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a very powerful moment. Uh, the congressman was very kind to let us pray yeah. over that bus and over him and his family, and that was just an amazing moment. Yeah. The thing that we want to remind you guys now that we're back, Israel is still in need, and this is still an ongoing deal. Yeah. We're not going to stop doing what God's called us to do, but we didn't just jump in uh, here with Israel for this war. Yeah. Uh, we have been sitting here with Israel teaching about uh, Israel being the timeline that you look at for yeah. the end. We've been teaching the Bible prophecy now for several years. Caleb will say more about that. For five years, I know many of our viewers just jumped in when we started being you know, war correspondents, but we have been teaching as the Bearded Bible Brothers online. Uh, for Zoll Leather Ministries, we have a television show, Our Jewish Roots. We're going to continue with those things. You know, when we do Bearded Bible Brothers, we're kind of in our man cave, in our bunker, and all those messages which we have preached answer your questions that we're seeing online about where are we in Bible prophecy, what's the next event. We've been prepared uh, these last few, five years because God said our message was impending. We felt the impending before the war started. The message is Yeshua is coming soon. And everything that we have taught up until now is to prepare believers to reach the lost and to reach the lost with the truth of Yeshua being the Messiah. And we're talking about Jews and Greeks, Gentiles, as well, it doesn't matter uh, who you are, God wants you to join him in his eternal kingdom forever. It's what matters to him. He doesn't want any to perish. So we're going to continue with that, guys. Uh, we, what we will do these kind of important updates that are timely when we get news from our correspondents in Israel, things that we, we see in the headlines that are irrelevant. Um, but please continue watching us on Our Jewish Roots and on the Bearded Bible Brothers because it's about edifying the body joining together in unity. These are messages that are very important. Let me encourage you on this very important point. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying this to chastise anybody, but we know that there's a lot of different perspectives when you look at this yes. war. And one of the things that we have a tendency to do with the body of Christ is to look and say, how does this affect me? Yeah. All this stuff is happening. How does it affect Josh? Does it bring Yeshua back faster? I'm going to pray because Josh doesn't want to be here anymore. And I want Yeshua to be here and him and I can be buds and frolic in heaven together. But the stuff that's happening isn't about you if you're already saved. It's about those who aren't already saved. Yeah. Now, don't immediately blow me up for that. What I mean is, Yeshua wants one thing right now. Yes. He wants as many people, as many people as possible, with him in eternity. So if we call and say, we've got to get Yeshua back here now, mm -hmm. then how many people are going to miss that opportunity to be with him? Yeah. Right now, instead of thinking, instead of focusing on how prophetically this makes him come back faster, yeah. we need to focus on how many more people we have to share the gospel with. Yeah. If, if Israel is sitting there getting blown up right now, that means on a daily basis there are, there are Hebrews, Israelis, uh, the Arabic people that, that don't know Yeshua. Yeah. That means we need to be ministering to them yeah. that while you're in fear, while you're in danger physically, that the biggest, greatest danger is that your eternal soul is lost. Yeah. That needs to be our focus. Yes, we need to send provisions and money and all the different things, yeah. all of the things that we need physically, but the spiritual thing that is paramount right now is let's get people into the kingdom. And that's what I'm encouraging you guys to do. Don't focus your posts on sitting here, how we can attack the person who doesn't line up with our viewpoint, or how we can chastise the Palestinians or any of this stuff. Focus on how we can introduce them to Yeshua. That is what is paramount here. You know, Josh, um, a message that God has been telling me these past few weeks, even before we left Israel, um, you've heard of being ready in season and out of season. That's what God's called us to do. God told me to be on call 24-7. I said, Lord, what does that mean? He says you're always ready, always ready to give an answer, always ready to minister, always ready to share my love. And so, okay, I said, Lord, we're going to Israel. I'm going to be ready 24-7. And I, we literally were. There wasn't a moment that we weren't in the zone. What is in the zone? We were ready to be missionaries of the truth. And even as we were flying back uh, on the airplane, I was like, all right, God, it's time for me time. You know, I, I worked hard 24-7 for two weeks. 
And God says, you are always supposed to be on call 24-7. And that's when someone came up to me on the plane. I was just going to chill out. And they were like, pray with me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pray with you. And then I started going around and praying with other believers that I knew on the plane. It's, that's how we're always supposed to live. Israel Hannah, our good friend, he's always ready to give an answer. Everywhere you go, you are his representative. And you need to be ready to give that testimony. And that means just living like him. And you know when you're not living like him. We're not going to tell you. The Holy Spirit convicts you when you're not living like him, but we want you to always be ready. Because this is about, uh, like Josh said, bringing more souls into the kingdom because we have such a short time left. We've said it before and we're going to say it again. God uses people. You are the bat home to Jesus. What does that mean? You can't say things about Batman. That's heretical. I'm saying that if you think about the concept, right, the, the bat home was used to get a hold of Batman, right? Well, these people, you are the opportunity to connect them to God. Yeah. So like Caleb was saying, I watched him from the, from the moment we got on the first flight to Israel. My brother, who's not necessarily extroverted by nature, is talking to people the whole flight, talking to people the whole flight, ministering the whole way. So you think, okay, now's my time to eat and sleep and know. And that's what the point was. In season, out of season, every time you come in contact with somebody, there is a purpose for it. Yeah. And the purpose isn't just so you can give them, you know, change and say, have a nice day. It's for something that Yeshua had planned out before he created the entire universe. So, without continuing to break you more of this, we just love you guys. We know that you want to make a difference or else you wouldn't be watching these videos. You wouldn't be praying for us. Yes. So we're encouraging you, the best way to make a difference is to ask the Father, how can I share your son's love yes. with the people that are right in front of me? Mm. That's what he's called you to do. So we love you guys. Continue watching. Go on YouTube. Look at our past Beard of Bible Brother episode. Yeah. BBB. Type it in. You'll find it. Yeah. If you have questions about prophecy, we have titles for five years about all the things that yeah. have been going on. Check out our Jewish Roots. Our new series that we filmed there is going to launch in January. Yeah. We have two series, Roadmap to Armageddon and Josiah and the Last Reformation. These are going to answer your questions. It's a simple handbook of what happens until the end of time. Yeah. Boom. So all these things are available as resources, not just the things that we've been doing now. Yeah. We love you guys, and we want to see you guys fighting alongside with us like we have been. See you next time, guys.